Hi, Dent people. This is Sal Contreras. I am the uh, door dinger out here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And no hail out here, so uh, I'm the guy with that tool, uh, the Dent Dial. Kind of a shameless plug here. But um, I developed this tool and because with no hail and just strictly doing larger dents these days, I'm just showing these videos uh, once in a great while as to uh, the kind of stuff I regularly work on. Um, big dents really and um, even though there are a lot of small dents in my area there are a lot of competition so this is the kind of stuff that I specialize in and once you do them you can read them real well and, and if they're in the right spot you can sell them real well so here's what I thought about this particular one but this is a doable dent it's gonna pop hopefully really well and we're gonna get a good release but I have pretty good access you know with these, it's always tough to do the center because of the roll down window. But this one was a good candidate because it was off to the side. And I liked how busy the area was where if there is a stretch right here, at least this overall busyness is going to kind of hide that and the customer was happy with that. All right, Forerunner. Let's knock it out. Okay, here's where I'm at right now. So far, I've got some good balance. I like the way uh, the displacement is working out. So, just keep working on balance and more balance. Once you get achieve a balance, then uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, it is a big dent um, and it's stretched but if you bring it up and balance out your pushes with your tapping on top you can minimize the stretch and leave it in one spot Um, one spot I missed was right here as I was filming this I realized it was there and I fixed it later but the um, the top one I didn't include in the estimate because uh, it would just send the estimate too high on this particular one the uh, tools I used right there the dent dials and um, came out good actually they gave me a lot of pressure behind so I can do a lot of off dolly slapping oh and by the way I did not drill a hole There was one right there I used a little bit, but that's a factory hole. Next up is motorcycles. I do them a lot. Uh, there's a big demand these days for um, tanks with dents uh, that have uh, nice paint jobs that uh, really you know, there's one way to do it, and that's with paintless dent removal. Uh, either working on them on the bike, but I prefer them off the bike where you can mount them and get pressure and, and get a, a good handle of the whole thing. Some of the designs are great and unique and you, you got to make the uh, dent happen. So here's one I did on a very expensive uh, BMW tank. Uh, just mounted it real quick and got right to it. So check it out. Okay, all finished with this tank. Let's take a look. I, I don't sand. It's not something I do. So this one here from the hit, <laughs> I had a lot of abrasion, but um, I just fixed the dent. So I could have made it look better, but the bottom line, <laughs> outside, on camera, that's my goal, is to make it flat, nice and clean, deliver it, <laughs> have them polish it out. Plus, it was a deep scratch, but it came out good. This camera picks up so much, it's amazing. All right, all done with the tank. Big spaceship looking thing.
difficult uh, dents I've ever done on a fender. This thing was smacked good. This is um, the forks coming down and smacking uh, this fender, which is original fender, so it's real thick metal. And some of the newer ones you find are, aren't that um, thick, so it's, I don't know if it's easier or tougher, but it just seems these thick ones are great to work with. Here's a nice angle. This angle. And here's the tank dent. Pretty deep, kind of a weird angle. It's going to be tough making that tool. That's going to go down into that hole and come back around and get the power to get that out. It's going to be tough. All right, let's. Yeah, right there. So that's the big one. That one came out nice. And then I had the real tough one on the tank. It's actually a dent with a, uh, a scratch in it. So this, uh, this, cr this hole coming in here was tough. Had to really bend the tool just right to get up inside there. But it turned out real well. You know, the, one of the most important things that when I look at a repair, it's going to be angles of access. How you set it up, of course, if that is in your head when you're estimating, big, uh, big plus if you can able to do that in your head as you're estimating. Uh, the one part I didn't visualize in my head was, was sitting right here on the table, putting my elbows in and getting this access, which was excellent. Uh, I didn't really visualize that when it was on the tire looking at the bike. I thought all my access was going to be from there. So like I always tell you, if you look for opportunity, you're going to find it. Thanks for watching. This is Sal from Den Expert Training. We'll see you next time.